Guys, we're back on some more Drive Club here today, and we're braking. Do you want to know why? I do too. Well, I actually already know. Uh, I'm going to be changing the degree of rotation my wheel supports, so give me a second. And the reason I've had to pause and do it before we actually begin is for the reason that the game doesn't let you change it in a menu, or when you actually leave a, a race and then go back in a race, it goes back to 1080. Why is 1080 an issue? Because I don't want to rotate the wheel like, twice each way to get it to actually fully lock. And when I'm drifting, that's not so great. Anyway, Sinclair Pass. This is a track that EK Drifter suggested would probably be one of the better drift tracks on the game. I've been like round it a couple of times today already, and uh, I feel as if I quite agree with it. It's kind of like the first actual track in where it's the full track you actually drift around on this game. Because they have dedicated drift events. Sometimes you don't want competition based, you want fun based. Just having a little bit of fun sliding around like this for example. Because this is, I was doing pretty damn well there, I'm impressed with myself. But I mean, what I, um, what I like is a full track where I can just slide around each corner and see how well I do. And this track is pretty much rock. The only track in where you can properly do that. And I'm glad they added it into the game. And it was free. So if you've got Drive Club, be sure to boot it up and give this track a go. Sinclair Pass in Canada. So anyway, choice of car. Why is that, why am I driving an SLS today? You guys know SLS me. It, unfortunately, not the Black Panther series. I say unfortunately, I mean fortunately. Because if you didn't know, the Black Panther series basically means I don't have a proper SLS in the game. And, as in the Black series, they got the boring one. And I convert it to look like a Black series. So it's, it's just the Black series. It's better than the Black Panther series. <laughs> oh, that was way too quick. Actually, the brakes when going sideways aren't too bad. They seem to be a lot better, so I might just, when I'm going too fast in the Hennies event, just whip it round and like, no, stop! And then try not to kill myself in the corner like that. That would be a really nice corner to try if I actually got it right. It's a shame I didn't. Look at that. See what I mean? Changing the d degree of rotation on this game definitely improves the game when it comes to drifting. I mean, even when racing, it may change it drastically. I, I could put it even lower to 270, which means I only have to kind of lock it like this. But the issue with that is the fact that I'm not going to be able to... Uh, well, it was kind of like too twitchy for me. So I would kind of be twitching every time I got out of a corner. So it was a little too low for me. Uh, whereas in like an arcade, full-on arcade racer, where it's not on a track, then like, yeah, I kind of make, kind of makes sense. Like I play the crew in 270 and now this I will be drifting in uh, two, no, 360 should I say but yeah <laughs> kind of like a little mini rant over there moving on how are you guys doing hopefully you're doing well uh, just a little note for the people that have just joined us I want to you know give a massive shout out to slap train my inbox has been like going haywire since he shouted out my channel for doing that video together so thank you ever so much slap for the shout out and uh, hopefully today you'll see how uh, you can, once you actually get your wheel, this, this helps you a little bit with the PlayStation 4, then that'd be pretty cool. Uh, hopefully when they add private lobbies to the game, because that's going to be awesome as well, uh, me and Slap will go onto the PlayStation side, because I'm more a PlayStation guy, Slap's more Xbox guy at the moment, so I think it'd be pretty cool to have like one where he comes on Drive Club with me, or the crew with me, mainly Drive Club because we've both got that game on the same platform because it's only on one platform so I think that would be pretty cool anyway hopefully we do something like that very soon um, you'll notice that I've actually renamed our group I guess you could say now before I actually had it as the Black Panther Army which kind of sounded a little bit vicious not gonna lie it sounded a little bit vicious a little bit terrifying so I've actually renamed us to Team Panther. You can check out the in the description, you'll actually see a link to the Facebook page as well if you want to join that. We've got that there. And I wanted to make it like more friendly sounding and stuff because I'm planning to do a lot of charity stuff. Now, there's a lot of things that affect people in certain ways and stop them being able to do what we do and such. So I think having a lot of charity streams soon, like maybe once a month at least, uh, hopefully starting one next week or the week after we'll be able to you know help these guys figure out cures for this kind of thing and i, I kind of like that idea and obviously 
you guys will be able to join in with me on the live streams, just playing the crew, playing Drive Club. It's just having fun and helping people at the same time. So what what's not to like about that? I think it would be pretty cool. So uh, if you're interested in those, be sure to follow my Twitter. I will be posting about that. And obviously I'll do a video or two before the live stream. So look out for that. And I heard that vicious pop there. I heard you, SLS. But other than that, that's pretty much all I've got to talk about. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is actually switch to the cockpit view. Now, this is where it gets freaky. Because the, the rotation has been changed from the normal 1080, in Forza, usually what would happen is the wheel doesn't turn as much as... Like, the wheel in game doesn't turn as much as your actual wheel. But because I've gone the opposite way around on Drive Club, yeah, it's a little bit weird because it spins it around like so much and locks it up completely before I've even got to the full rotation of what I've set the wheel to. It's a little bit weird, but I mean, it's totally understandable. But if you can whip your hands like this, well, you, you, my friend, will probably be the best drifter in existence if you can rotate a wheel that quickly. Jesus, hell of fire. But I feel as if this rotation is a little bit more natural uh, for when sliding anything more and it feels like a bit weird if that makes sense i think if you didn't have force feedback then yeah maybe but you still kind of want a bit of force feedback to get you back to the center point at least miss the button there i don't like dri drifting in cockpit so we're going to switch back to third person that's one thing drive club needs to be played in the cockpit view but when you're sliding no way don't even try it because otherwise it's gonna hit you're gonna hit many walls basically you're not gonna get much sliding you're gonna hit more walls than you will actual burning rubber so there's that i'm thinking of a, making a design for this sls soon anyway oh look at that sorry tires other than that that was pretty good <laughs> um, i'm thinking of making a design for the sls soon i haven't actually got one on drive club i've just gone for this stock yellow all the time uh, but I'm thinking of making one that I... It's kind of basic and simple. Maybe it'll work on everything because it'll be a bit more simple. And you guys can kind of replicate it in your clubs as well if you want to rep Team Panther. Because obviously Drive Club's got limited spots. You can only have like six per club. Uh, so if you want to make like Team Panther 2 or Team Panther 69, I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> but uh, that would be pretty cool. I might eventually do that properly and have like people kind of uh, manage sub teams and that sort of thing that'll be really awesome but that's mainly when everything's kicked off in drive club we've got all the new tracks we've got a lot of new cars because there's a lack of american cars i think there's like two american cars on the game and the rest are european which i mean it's not a massive deal but i would prefer to see some more american muscle in there, if you know what i mean i love my american muscle but they're all kind of like new cars so there'll be all the like new muscle cars as well so I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool to add some more variation in there. I'm wondering if they're going to feel heavier anyway, because I haven't got the Corvette either. So, it'd be pretty cool to try that. Oh, shite! Yes, look at that. Absolutely marvellous. So clean. I love it. Once you actually get O'Connor right with a wheel, it feels absolutely magnificent. I still need to do my review for the Thrustmaster uh, T... I forgot the name of it. It's in the description. Uh, I know it's T300 RS GTE. That's the bloody one. Uh, but I, I still need to do my review for it. Like, I'm going to structure the review in the sense in where I went from being a controller guy, never using a wheel in my life for a game, except, like, at a friend's house, which I was absolutely awful with because it was Gran Turismo with 1080 degrees <laughs> and you know i'm kind of a terrible driver for example a example example a 8 billion obviously because obviously I've, I've not just crashed then i've crashed many a time before but i mean yeah uh, i'm gonna do as i said a lot of uh, a review kind of a lot with a lot of footage combined to try and show you exactly how it all works and what it's like going back from uh, being on a controller all the way to then using a wheel. So you can make a decision based on the fact that you've never used one before, or maybe you have and you want to know what it's different anyway. Anywho, before I drag this video on much longer than it needs to be, I'm going to round it off here, I think. Hopefully I kind of gave you a little bit of a tip today on uh, 
how to actually get it to slide a little bit easier. If, you, if you've been having a little bit of trouble in Drive Club getting it to drift, then now you know. But keep in mind, you can't change it permanently, and that's something I like to see in an update. So I'm going to send this video to Evolution Studios, or send a message to them at least, and ask them, can we have an option for that? Because I think Gran Turismo even allows that, which is something that when GT7 comes out, if it doesn't have it, well, I'm going to be a little bit upset, aren't I? <laughs> and I'm going to ask them as well, which they probably will. They'll, they'll release it with GT8, maybe, just like Car Sounds. Car Sounds are said to be an update for Gran Turismo 7. And it's like, polyphony, polyphony. Do it right this time, guys. I mean, look at Drive Club. Drive Club's basic, but yet it gets so many things right that games that are very big fail to do. Anywho, I said I was going to stop before I rambled, but I did. That's the issue. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you ever so much for joining us for this video. If you did like it and you want to see some more kind of me practice drifting on drive club be sure to let me know down in the comments but other than that this has been black panther and i will see you guys in the next video peace